Even though low yield is new for many countries, including the U.S., it is not a completely new phenomenon for some other developed economies. So what we can do here is that we can actually take a look at some of these other countries and see how their bonds have performed in these low yield environment and learn from their experiences. So the most familiar case here is probably Japan. Um, yields in Japan has been low for over two decades. Or specifically, for example, if you look at 10-year Japanese government bond yield, it has been below 2% since the late 1990s and fell below 1% in 2010. And however, despite this low yield, during the period between 1999 and 2020, 10-year JGB actually delivered a positive return around 2.2% per year. So some might think this is quite impressive given that the average 10-year bond yield during this period is only around 1%. So in addition, the return has also been quite consistent and it was only negative for three out of the past 22 years. So overall, 10-year JGB has delivered a sharp ratio of around 0.9. In comparison, during the same period, Japanese equity has a sharp ratio only around 0.3. So why is this the case? How are the returns on bonds higher than their initial yields? The secret here lies in roll down. It is true that lower yields and rising rates could lead to lower bond returns. However, the reality is that as long as yields remain low and the yield curve is in its normal upper sloping shape, investor can actually collect a positive return by buying longer dated bonds with higher yields and let them roll down the yield curve. So let's consider an example here. Let's consider the case where the yield curve is upper sloping and let's assume that it doesn't move across time. So in this case, think of an investor that buys a 10-year bond and hold it for one year. So in this case, the investor will get a return that is higher than the initial 10-year bond yield. And why is that? That is because in addition to the 10-year bond yield, the 10-year bond is going to become a nine-year bond in this, during this one year. And in the process, the yield is going to decrease. Therefore, it's rewarding the investor for additional roll-down return. Now, going back to the Japan example, in this case, the carry plus roll down for the 10-year JGB over the last 22 years is on average around 1.9% per year, which contributes to the majority of the return in this case. And Japan is not alone here. Although bonds in Europe have been trading at a lower yield for a much shorter period of time, they nonetheless provide us with another example. So here we're going to take a look in uh, Germany. In Germany, the 10-year German Bund yield has fell below 1% in 2014, and the average 10-year yields in the last four, six years or so was around 20 basis points. However, similar to Japan, despite the yield being so low, 10-year German Bund has delivered a positive return, and it's on average around 3.6% per year for the last six years. So while the conditions for each of these cases are unique and different, these two case studies could provide some leading indicators for where the rest of us may be headed.